Hey everybody, it's time again for the Mikey and Al podcast. I'm Mikey. And I'm Al. And I'm Nick. And I'm Vince. That's right. <laughs> yes. Vinny DiMartino. We have Vinny DiMartino. <laughs> Obviously, you have OCC fame. There's been a lot of requests. You know, a lot of people have asked, what's going on with the OCC crew? Um, to, I would say, the ultimate extent, a lot of people want to find out what's going on with Vinny DiMartino. So thank you for being with us, Vinny. I mean, it's My really, pleasure. really cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, you know, me, I'm I'm the same guy since back then. Not an actor. You know, I, I work on stuff and I still do it to this day. You know what? I, I mean that's <clears throat> I think that's unique about you, but I think a lot of let me a couple of questions. First of all, a lot of people are asking, you know, your background. Now, were you did you grow up in Orange County? You're or? Italian, right? I am. <laughs> Oh, you grew up in Orange County? That oh, kind of, come on. How, that's inspiring. Well, we know. I didn't know background, but I, I, know, I know, I know, Born and raised in Orange County, grew yeah, up in Orange Montgomery County. I've my whole life. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Woohoo. And uh, grew up right, actually, I went to school with Paulie. Paulie used to hang out since we were little. Okay. Um, he used to hang out when we were real young with my brother. Yep. My younger brother. Was, um... Yeah. Well, that actually already answers the question. That's, that when, was, that's when the educational system was really poor still. He is that one of Non-regions and diplomas. Yeah. Isn't it so? Did What's, you go to regions? Oh, no. Neither did I. Nope. I already <laughs> know what I was going to do. Yeah. Well, you that know? was a question. I mean, I a don't. lot of people want to understand that. <laughs> what made you, I mean, you know, what intrigued you into uh, fabricating, bike building, whether it be, um, you know, cars, be motorcycles when did you know that hey you know what this is what i like to do this is what i want to do right what, what brought you into that situation um i i guess just life since i was young my father was the kind of guy who he didn't pay anybody to do anything you can do gotcha. so he just mm -hmm. raised us all to fix everything ourselves okay so you know i started riding dirt bikes when i was real young i was three he okay. owned a snowmobile shop rode snowmobiles and he, we wanted to ride we had to fix our stuff Wow. Okay. So, you know, and then, you know, as I got older, I got into quads and dirt bikes and three wheelers mm -hmm. and we were just always making stuff and fixing stuff. And, you know, I learned how to weld when I was probably like, now I'm not talking a professional welder, okay. right, but right. to make it work, you know what I mean? I was yeah. probably only nine or 10, you know, wow. I had a, an old stick welder, you know, the old arc welders. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's when they learned to penetrate. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah just it's just figure it. it out, you know? Right. And then, uh, what? Like so no, me. no, form, no, no, it's, well, it's no formal well training, training, nothing like that no, at all through no, the uh, process flow. No, just... I'm, I'm really good at being self-taught. <laughs> okay. I am. I'm a hands-on kind of guy. And even to this day right now, I'm 50 and I still, I work on newer cars. All that is all self-taught. Gotcha. You know, and just, cause I'm passionate about it. When you're passionate about something, you learn it, you yeah, know, that's mm -hmm. true. and I like it. And even when I got into the. Back in the uh, Orange County Choppers days with the um, water jet. And then when I got out of there, I opened my own shop. I started doing CNC machining. Gotcha. And it was like literally bought the discs and just watched them and did it and watched and did it and uh -huh. screwed stuff up and made it and broke it. And, right. You know, and just figured it out. So so when you uh, initially got, got started, I mean, you just mentioned you and Junior, you guys went to school together. Is that right? We did, yep. It Was that middle school, high school? Element, all the way through elementary school. Okay. Yeah. All he, right. was, he was two years behind. One or two years. What year did your brother graduate? Uh, 90, uh, a year late. 93 or 94? I'll just put that up. <laughs> yeah. <Wasn't even> <laughs> You're like getting <laughs> like no fucking clue, right? You're like, that. whatever. I think I was late. one or two years ahead of him. <laughs> okay. All right. You want to hear a funny story, though? Me, me and Paulie got in a fight one time. Did uh -oh. you ever hear that story? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. oh, no. What Wait a minute. Yeah. Set the background. Set the yeah. story. Okay. What happened? So we were in, I was in high fifth school? grade. Oh, fifth grade. Yeah. Okay. Like high school. And he was, he was a little bit of a bully. Oh, he, he was, well, Ooh, he was the details to my younger brother. Yeah. He was picking on Joey. Okay. And, uh, Joey was afraid of him. Joey was probably whatever, two years younger than him. Oh, that's a big Joey's deal a when you're sweetheart in sweetheart too. Yeah. So he's picking on him and we got in a fight in the playground. He chipped my tooth. We got into wow. a full, <laughs> full fist fight. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. I got in trouble. And here, here's the kicker. It was really funny. We all got called to the office. And um, you remember they, in, in elementary school, they always had that paddle. Like, it was a threat. They never paddled <laughs> you, but there was always oh, yeah, a threat. Was of, with the little holes in it and shit like that? I got yeah. the rod. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Morris. So my brother right. Joey was still afraid of Paulie. So when they asked him, 
did he pick on you? He said no. <laughs> oh, geez, really? Yeah, I got I thrown to the wolves. And then you got, yeah, your brother threw you to the wolves. He did. I went funny. to Bishop Dunn right up the road here. He and sent... They sent Joey back to like first grade class uh, <laughs> sniveling or whatever, right? Oh, yeah, I got, You're the I got one in facing trouble. Court, so. so you got okay. So I didn't. Uh, so I think that's awesome. Sorry. The viewers, no, I mean. the viewers get to know that. So you knew Junior from a from from an <laughs> early age. Fuck you. So it wasn't like a uh, situation whereby um, you guys knew each other. You know, when you first got to Orange County Choppers, you sort of guys grew up together. And, oh yeah, and, yep. and, and we did. Had we that used to time. ride together all the time. Okay, I used to work on all their quads and stuff like that. So. I mean, okay. since I was even like 16, you know, everybody brought their stuff to me to get fixed. Gotcha. Because gotcha. you know, it wasn't, there was no YouTube then. Right. You, you didn't go on YouTube to figure out how to fix something. You <gasps> know? No, you had nothing in no. that nature, right? No, you figured it out. Yeah. You did. So if you didn't know how to do it, you. You still had the string phones, right? Now, yeah. It was like, we had cord phones. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Yeah. It was. It was cool. So. How, you know, when was it, it how did you guys um, come together? Um, uh, hold well, up, I'm getting a visual. Um, You're getting together. a visual? Do you, do you remember, uh, you remember, like, before the show was popular, you and Paul used to share hotel rooms? Remember that? Yeah. Remember? I, 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 <laughs> I still got a picture of that. one time, and it was like the, the chain this was, was keeping this it was fairly, in, like, open. This was in Cincinnati. In there. Cincinnati. It was Cincinnati. Perfect town for this type of behavior. I want to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> almost as good as walk, Cleveland. Walk, walk about, almost as good. Talk, talk to us. That's Tell us. Home of the steamer. <laughs> Tell us. Uh, no, and the two of them were just sitting there, um, like, um, rubbing each other's back hair oh, I don't know. Oh, like, I, not skin I, but hair just uh, enough I don't like know these that small was the circles wax on <laughs> wax off <laughs> well, well, more wax is, off than wax we would be in Polly we would share hotel rooms it and, and we're both the type of guys like when I get home I want to take my shirt off I'm with you. Wait, I want to relax. You want to relax? Sleep in shorts. Absolutely. And Paulie would too. So yeah. we'd be two freaking guys yeah. with hair there in boxer shorts on. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, boxer shorts and smoking cigarettes and, together. And he'd be literally walk in and be like, what the fuck are yeah, you, what guys are you guys doing? doing? You know, like I, this, I don't do this. <laughs> Mike, I want you to take your shirt off. <laughs> maybe shorts. But even having your shirt off is kind of like, you know. I feel like just it was whatever. I was comfortable. I, listen, yeah. I was always comfortable. They're just I'm chilling. Glad. It was. Just it was chilling. It was not a pretty sight for me. <laughs> so now, my brother that's and probably that's what fan, it was. You know, I that's kind of looked up was. to both of them well, at, the, at the time. For you. And then I started looking down. <laughs> <laughs> both disgusting. Couldn't even see it. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> so where does this happen? Okay, so you guys were in Cincinnati at a bike show or something like that, or yeah. just okay? So a big bike expo. Remember that? All right. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was a fun one. That was in February. It, it was. Right? So yeah, it was, it was like it's, a really cold. You know, Cincinnati's pretty shitty yeah. city. Okay. Beautiful bridges. Uh, uh, sooty statues. Yeah. Lots of Kinko's copies there. For some reason. Is this Ohio or? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then, oh, uh, yeah. There's it's a nice your, city. Your... We had a good time, and yeah. and it's only five minutes from Kentucky. That's yep. your problem. Though. Remember, you go right over that bridge. Yeah. yeah. And it was, I think, it's called Union Square or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I, mean, I could be wrong, but it's something like that, and it was it was a fun time. Wow. Yeah. Can we rewind a little bit about in terms of um, how you um, came into the OCC fold? I mean, what what occurred there? Where you know was senior? Were you there prior to the show popping off? You know, and 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 getting the um, you know discovery deal? Yeah, or yeah. No. How did how did that how did that occur? Um, you know, I, I was aware when the show came out. So it was the jet bike was the first one ever. I was their pilot. Okay. And uh, I watched the show. I heard it was going to come on. And I was actually, I felt the same way you guys felt about it. Mm -hmm. How, like, you know, I was ready to see bike building. Yeah. You know, they were fighting. Yeah, it's and dirty I, they, they, were, they were, like, traumatized okay. when they saw that because they were like, oh, you ruined us. Uh, but wow. people liked it. Okay. But nevertheless, I saw that. <laughs> and then um, they got another one, the Cody Project. That was, was the second one. one. It was a good episode. That was the yeah. second one? Well, then people liked it, and then they were like, keep, I, keep ruining us. Yeah, and I wasn't involved <laughs> still then. Oh, no. So right after that, their business Money. started really picking up. <laughs> uh -huh. So Paulie reached out to me. And okay. I was, I was working at an um, audio shop at the time, okay. Clayton's. And, uh, you know, he just you knew I was a guy there. that could do, you know, anything I wanted to do, I can I could figure it out, you know? And he knew I knew gotcha. what I was doing. So um, he asked me to come over. You so, know? what in what in what progression was the show? Was the show just kicking off? Or was it already pretty much already? No. So actually, that was front? supposed to be the end of it. 
So it was oh, supposed to be okay. the Cody Project, and that was that was it that, that they knew of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but they had a good amount of bike builds coming in. So you know, he wanted me there, and because I was also I was very mechanically inclined. Gotcha. Um, plus, I knew somewhat about fabrication, but I pick up really quick. Gotcha. So then he started, you know, teaching me with that stuff, and and I think I was only there for a couple weeks, and then they got the call from. Pilgrim Films. Pilgrim Films. They said Pilgrim we want you guys for a 13-part series. Wow, wow. And wow. then that and really then that started was, That was the off. fire bike. Not the fire gotcha. bike. The, uh, Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Black that Widow. Was, that was, was the first bike I was ever involved in. Isn't that Junior's Pride and Joy? The, uh, it is. The, yeah. Yeah. The Black Widow <laughs> bike. And then we went on from there. Was that yeah. kind of the conceptual idea with the Black Widow bike? Was that uh, something that... Um, he just put on paper? Do you recall how, no, how that No, so worked? what he did before they ever had TV, he built a Spider-Man bike mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Guy uh, got his ass kicked awesome. by yeah, uh, uh, Jean Wycliffe, yeah. Wycliffe Jean. Yes, that's who it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wycliffe I thought it was I worked huh? at the shop for too many years. This is all PTSD. That's who it was. So he really <laughs> liked that Spider-Man bike, and it gotcha. was not his. Okay. So he wanted to build something obviously not the same, but something a little different, but with kind of that whole theme. And, and he came up with the Black Widow, and it was, it was genius. Yeah, it's a beautiful motorcycle. Yeah. It is. I think, you know, I mean, you've seen episodes about him always wanting to have that yeah, bike. Wow. Back it's funny if I that. see any of them episodes of Clips, man. I look so young. Right. I had well, hair covering back here. Right. Yeah, I watched a couple. My brother Dan started watching the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a. Yeah, like he and his family watch it. It's like a novelty. I don't have any copies of it. It's on HBO it's, Max yeah. now. It's on Is Max. It? Yeah. It's just Max now. I got my Max, kids have sorry. never watched it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I wouldn't recommend they do. No. <laughs> I got PTSD. I'm not kidding. I was like trembling in my seat. My brother dancing. Ah, I feel pretty good. Yeah, I don't think the old man's pretty mean to the kid. Oh, you know? all this information. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is stuff. I asked yeah. the same. Mikey didn't watch it when it was current, though. Not at all. I always no, had never. to watch when it came out because I was, you know, I'd critique myself. Of course. And, and everything that was going on, you know, I just I wanted oh, yeah. to see what was going on and how we looked. Um, Did you see it? He never watched it. Yeah, well, that's Mike. I mean, Mike. He, I mean, he didn't want you know. The, it probably I, I helped to watch that. it. I get that. Know? I get that. But let me ask you. Did went you to rehab earlier? That's terrible. Sorry. No, oh, dude. Boy. Please go ahead, Mikey. No, just the episode I watched. I didn't look good. <laughs> I think it was pretty. Was it like rehab. physical? It amazing. Oh, thank you. Was it a physical thing, or was it like you knew that you were high at that point when you were watching the episode? A uh, mixture of the two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you see someone who's fucked up, you're like, oh, they're having a bad day. When you know where you were at that particular yeah. time, and you're like, oh, yeah, and before you puke. You know what else too? Just it, it was very real. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. much of it was put on. The fight, I though. Mean, the fight was for sure, right? The who knew. Oh, wow. Now, I, I mean, I don't know how it was later on if they tried to build it up, but whether the camera's there or not, they were fighting. It no. didn't take much. No. There's a little push of the old boulder every now and then. Well, let's, let's, let's. Yeah. I got a question about that, that Black Widow bike, because as I, as I heard Paul tell it once, he built the bike, and then they asked him to build it for the show, so he had to either disassemble it or reassemble a new. Well, there was, there was, there were certain parts. They had to rebuild that back fender. Uh-huh. The um, webs. And yeah, whatnot. the webs. He had two of them lying around. I was wondering. There was certain parts, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But w once the show started, you know, w when did you know, or could you see a little different dynamic, you know, once the sto show started being very popular? I mean, did you come to occasions where people started to get, you know, starting to notice you, and, you know, there's some yeah, interaction you know there? It, is, it was instant. It was. You know when it was? And I want to say, I think it was... I don't know the show it was. It was, I do remember, it was New Orleans when Don drove the truck down there. God, God bless. Do you remember that? Yeah. God we, were down in this, we were down in the Superdome. Mm -hmm. And before that, we went to Cincinnati, and it was like, oh, cool, I've seen these bikes, you know, and whatever. But nobody was really standing around coagulating that much. Right. But when we went to the Superdome, the show was probably a couple episodes in. Oh yeah, yeah, that and it was I. That was instant, nuts, really instant two hour wait for people to stand in line wow. to see us, and that was it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, it got crazy fast. So first autograph, you're like, oh wow. Yeah, and reality show cool. wasn't big then, so yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, it, it was all new. People were like, there wasn't much. What was out there at that time? Survivor, maybe. 
Yeah. Oh, I think Osborne. I think. I think. I think. There weren't too many reality. There, there shows. wasn't. You're right. A handful. No. And you had the other kind of reality shows, which are like uh, the Real World. The Real World. Crap right. I, there was I, nothing I, like what we were doing because we were building. Not only did you have the dynamic dynamics of the family, we had a real yeah. product that we were building. I, that was I agree. Pretty amazing. I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think OCC can definitely claim sort of like the uh, first part of the reality kind of yeah. you know content situation <clears throat> that, that that grew. The family drama ones you for know, sure, without yeah. a doubt. So the thing that amazed me the most was we didn't really have a certain demographic of people. Mm -hmm. It was everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It didn't matter if you, especially when it started going overseas. Oh, it I mean, the families. You had people from everywhere. It didn't matter if you were old, young, Asian. It didn't matter. No. It, it's just I, a housewife. Really? <laughs> really? Everybody. I, yeah, you know, it, was. it really resonated with everybody for it, some reason. I, th I think it was the creation of the product and how you guys were able to fabricate the product and bring a build I mean, my opinion from from just Jason, you know, mm -hmm. doing his, um, I guess his cat drawings or whatnot, and then to the intricacies of <laughs> yeah, whatever. That was you, that was definitely later on, you yeah. know, or whatever. Um, but that was later on. What was the process <laughs> before that with you and uh, Paul scratching our heads? Yeah, <clears throat> really. Yeah, yeah looking at out, shit. Have to build it from air, and then Paul yeah. hired Jason. Yeah, because it's like you're doing R and D on the fly. Because yep. you got to make a motorcycle that rides down the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so you have the basic geometry of everything that you do, but now you're putting all this stuff on it. Right. And you got you to gotta make it work. We got to ride these bikes, you know? How yeah, did yeah. you feel about that? How did you feel about that when Jason comes in and the, the CAD start, the programs and the 3D models start taking over the... Yeah, that was later on. I mean, that was kind of like, by that time... It was like you were a robot, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You come in, you do the same thing. You got this much time to build a bike. Got to be done. He does this, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm, Client needs this. Me and Rick yeah. were really tight. Me, Rick, and Cody. Petco, right? Yeah, and Cody. Yeah, we were. We we had the three lifts right there. We had to All make right. everything work, you uh, know. Okay. You had Jason designing it, and you had Jim machining some parts. Mm -hmm. I was water jetting, and you had to make it all come together, and it had to freaking work. Right. Yeah. Let me ask you. Okay, so. In limited time. Yeah. yeah. How, Which wasn't bullshit. Because how, it wasn't. Have, so many uh, builds stacked up on top yeah, of each other. Yeah. yeah. You have a schedule. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when you're doing episodes, you're working with production companies. Mm -hmm. That was my question. The production yeah. company. How did that... It, how does that in, uh, interact with your mind when you're sitting there and you got cameras in your face or, you know, you got people looking at the bike, that kind of yeah. a thing? Is that just... You know what? No, you know what? We got, so, we got so no? close with the film crew. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Gotcha. Right? We were good friends with them. Very much It so. was literally like, yeah. it was Mikey over my shoulder sometimes, you know? It's, yeah, yeah. You know, we were all, we were all friends, so... Very close. Did they? Yeah. It wasn't like a different film crew each time. These guys would stay with you for years or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, so, so you can be like, you know what? Listen, yeah. stop. I'll be like, hey, I gotta... Pat, get over here. Uh, Patty. Patty. Or you can yeah. be, hey, listen, stop. I gotta go take a shit and just, you know, yeah, or whatever. Or even <laughs> like, we knew that, like, when we move out of frame, they gotta see us move. So, all right, we'll stop. Let them reset. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. we kind of, you know, we knew what to do after, you know, did 200 you, episodes. Yeah. Did you ever have to read? Kind of, Sorry, go ahead. What's Mike. that? I was just wondering, did you ever have to redo anything because it was cool? And, or it was funny, and then they were like, redo that because we didn't get it? Yeah, once in a while, they'd be like, yeah, say that again, do that again. Yeah. You know what, yeah, they just don't let me interrupt it. for a second. Yeah. Did you see your brother's been doing stuff on Instagram? No. no. Um, I have. And, and, it, and it's great because yeah. he sent me a couple. Um, so what he does is he watches an old video, uh -huh. and, you know, he makes comments and laughs. But he's been doing all, like, the this, this stupid stuff, the uh, jousting, scooter jousting. Oh, I saw that. Whatever. I did see that. Right? He did that. Know. So, and then I, I texted him. I'm like, dude, you got to do the spitball one. And he and he's like, I already did it. So, then he put that one out like a week later. Do you remember that one? Oh, so, I, did you yeah. ever see the spitball? I saw the jousting. Spitball I didn't one see where he's putting through minute. the Were window you, in the so, shop. Yes, yeah. yes. I so, think okay, I did see let that me, one. Let me set it up for you. Because, like, the, the room where he was welding in had his back towards a corner. Right? And it was one-way glass that the film crew would sit in there and the the producer, Steve Niggs, or whoever it was, yep. would watch through there, and then that way he can guide his thing, you know, hey, you're going over there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and it was it was glass. Okay. But Paulie, <laughs> he, he was violent sometimes. Remember he had that big air gun with the long tube? He'd stick yeah. like a freaking bolt in the end of that thing, shoot it, <clears throat> and it was, that thing would go through the wall. 
<laughs> and one day he did it at the film crew <laughs> through that glass. It wasn't glass. It was Lexan or uh -huh. Plexi or whatever it was. And it was tinted. So when it went through, the tint ripped and just went back. So you never knew there was a hole there. So oh. Paulie was out there welding one day. And I'm like, we, remember we did a bike for Wendy's? Oh, yeah. And we had humongous. They just sent us boxes of everything. <laughs> and we had a box of straws. Oh, God. So we used to steal the straws and do spitballs <laughs> at each other, you know? <clears throat> so one day he's out there welding and his back is towards a corner. It's a wall, you know? Yeah. And I go through. Oh. I hit him in the back of the neck and he's like, What is that? He's working. He's welding. He doesn't I, really I hit him again. He's like, <laughs> okay, And the episode. film crew was in on it. I told him I was going to do it. Great. And uh, he's like, how are things hitting? It's like <laughs> it's like a spitball coming at me right now. Right, from right, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, he was freaking out. He's like, spitballs are coming from nowhere. He was and just freaking popping. out. And I was laughing. So <laughs> it was really He's poking the straw through the phone. Oh, it was. It, he just he, he had no idea. No you know, freaking idea. That's good. I think one thing about the OCC um, th that time frame is 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 the fun. That you guys had in terms, I mean, it was it was a clash of dynamics. I mean, it was the build, stress of the build, but it was also the fun that it you was. guys created yeah, yeah. in that dynamic. Which is, I mean, that that you know, when you think about um, people watching the series, I think that culminates into something um, that I find unique. I mean, what do you think made OCC that unique entity uh, that, that the fans are just probably the family dynamic. I would say more than anything. Yeah. I would. I mean, people can relate the arguments between father and son. Right. Um, button heads in family businesses. Sure. I worked with my dad since I was nine years old. You know, and even he ended up, it was auto repair, and then he owned a golf course. And I eventually ended up quitting because I love my dad to death, but I couldn't be friendly and be father-son with my dad when I worked for him. Sometimes you have that type A personality yeah. that comes at you each do. other. You just whatnot. butt heads, and I was like, yeah. I made a decision. mature decision. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm quitting and going on my own because I want to be friends with you. Because I love my, he was such a fun guy. Well, let's talk about the dynamic the between you two because was. It, was always, it was always you guys. When I was, oh. watching, when I was watching, you guys were always like uh, just, just, Two peas in the pod. One of the things I was I was curious of, Vinny, it, 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 prior to the whole Jason thing and whatnot, yeah, I like that up. not at all. When you guys were, um, let's say you guys were building a bike and, and Junior came into the, uh, uh, you know, what, how did Junior start that process? How did you come into it? How did you guys determine, you know, what was what? Because I, I, I think he relied a lot on, you know, your input as well. So, you know, that creative concept of how you guys built the bike, was it, um, you know, was it something you guys just put on paper? Was it just something you, ha you put, you know? Yeah, he, no, a junior really never put anything on paper. He didn't? Okay. No. And most of the design, probably 90% of it was his. Okay. He's got that very creative. He was. He was, mm -hmm. he was good. I'll give it to him 100%. Okay. And his father had no tolerance for that. Okay. Because <laughs> it's a process. Right. You know, you don't just be like, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and you do it. Okay. You know what I mean? And I, I don't think your father could ever grasp that. You know no. what I mean? No, because he comes from <clears throat> iron work. Yeah. Yep. This, 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 and this. Exactly. Yeah. He couldn't. And he used to get so, so mad. And I get it. I get it because I've done it myself. And you got to, sometimes it takes a couple hours of looking. And thinking. So was it the creative thing then? I mean, sort of, you know, senior was, I mean, not that it wasn't the creative thing, but I mean, he was like, okay, we have a deadline, just get it done. Or it was like, we don't have time for the creative concept. Well, they would just of argue it. about it, but I think Junior would get his way. Gotcha. Right? Wouldn't you think? Gotcha. Yeah, I guess they do. So your your right? father was very argumentative about that stuff, but at the end, I think you can kind of get him to see the light. Yeah. Well, some of the best took, bikes... Took a bunch of arguments, but... Yeah, or, you know, sometimes an argument ends with, can you come up with, with better? Better <laughs> idea, yeah. You know what I mean? Seriously, a lot of, lot of uh, arguments kind of get uh, thwarted. Yeah, I can that, see that. that way. You look so fucking cool right now. You do. Yeah, man. You do. You <laughs> do. God I know. I, I, I enjoy cigars <laughs> more than I should. 
Uh, so. I think that's awesome. Now, in terms of um, your, if you were going to list, let's say, three of your favorite bike builds through the OCC area. Well, what, that would, under what criteria? Because of the bike or because of the experience? Or whatever, you know what? You know? That's a great question. To be honest with you, I'll, uh, I, real I, quick, I, bikes. I'll throw that back uh, at you. Just bikes. I uh, go with the top. What, what do you say? Top three or the top? Uh, you know, top three bikes. But you know what? He he did he did say something. I can give you cry, You right. know, I can give you also because of the experience too. But the experience sure. probably the be top better. Three. I, I mean, yeah, for sure the experience. The fire bike's got to be one of the best. Oh, both cool. experience mm -hmm. and the bike itself. You know, okay. just because it meant so much. Right. Um, the Black Widow, of course. It was just the first. It was new. You know, it was amazing. Right. And it's all going to be the earlier bikes. Yeah. You know? Um, Mikey Vinny. Uh, that was a uh, good night. That was a good episode, actually. That was, that, that was probably that was fun. Yeah. That yeah. was so much fun. And that was a pretty good looking bike. It was a great bike. It had a nice it. shifter. I suicide did. shifter. Was I have really that nice. shifter at my shop. You do, oh. yeah. They took that bike apart and turned it into a regular bike and sold it. They did. Wow. Yep. And Christian, I think it was Christian, brought it over to the shop and they're like, "Yo, they took that suicide shift off. You want it?" Oh wow. Yeah, it's hanging at my shop. That's the uh, really. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So you, we have something. <laughs> we do. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I still we have do. Still... Remember when <laughs> we were making that wrap for the for the? <laughs> we have something together that exists. I know. So it on eBay. That wrap that, that we made over us. the oil tank too that said Mikey and Vinny on it. Yeah. yeah. The first one. Oh, that we that the, fucked yeah, up when, the water jet. Yeah, right? the water jet kind of keyhole it a little bit, oh, and I took back. it off. I got that at my shop too. Oh, that's really. Yeah, because awesome. sometimes you're making four or five of these parts before they come out the way. Really. Like I said, you're engineering on the fly. You know. Right. Oh. Well, you two always had. I mean, the dynamic between you two was always, uh, you know, prevalent. I mean, you could you could see that. How was that? Just off the bat. I mean, the, that connection was there. Was it? Uh, was it? You know, it's just you love. guys dealing with it's uh, love, baby. It is love. I think that's I awesome. Know. It is. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Mutual respect. You know, well, just to go back love. though, real quick though, because I don't want to lose this thought. Sure. <clears throat> as far as like experience wise on the bikes. I think the Comanche's got to be my favorite. You wow. That, one? that war yeah, helicopter, helicopter one. The hell yeah. is backwards, right? Yeah, but that was also, though, the stress. Do you remember when the motor went yes. in, in the trailer? And I yes. had to work on it. You had to stop. It? That's right. Yeah, that's and right. That, that was just such a stressful, right. amazing outcome. And that's when we were in Club Kryptonite. Yep. Oh, the yeah. first experience there, that was... <sighs> yeah, there was a helicopter. Right? Was it, we was came it in on a helicopter, helicopter for the unveil too. That's yeah, right. but Did a you, separate helicopter, yeah. not a Comanche. No, no. Or no, what was I it? Wish. The, uh, that's oh. that's not the one where you dropped it. You fake dropped the bike, right? That's a different uh, one entirely. Where you brought in in the helicopter and you were supposed to let go of the claw, but you I fake would, dropped the claw to give your heart attack, give your father and brother a heart attack. I don't know that one. Shit, I don't know what you. No, mean. that was that. Uh, I, I don't. You know, I'll tell you what. The last bikes, though, I don't know. They just don't mean that much. No. The last couple of years. Oh, no. They That's had, no, they had no heart. The Yankees won oh, the cool. early ones were fun. They did. Yeah, it, it, it became too corporate. It did. I guess, it did. right? It came too just... Funny. It was just cookie cutter, boom, do this, do that, do this. They were nice bikes. That. We put a lot into them. I could see that. But they just didn't mean that much. I it could was see big that. companies just dying to give them money to build something and they were paying a lot of money basically for a commercial and they get a bike to go with it gotcha 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 yeah. gotcha so w w okay now i know you traveled you know quite a bit with occ and uh, uh, if you can if you can give us a little insight as to um what were some of your favorite events i mean i mean was it sturgis was it uh laconia i mean w w because i know mike mikey you know was along for the ride but what, what were some of the fond memories that you can Sturgis. remember? Sturgis? We always had so much fun. We always brought our scooters everywhere we went. Okay. And it was funny. We had all these bikes and me. We would just ride scooters everywhere. I remember we were getting blunted in the back of the truck on the way back from Mount Rushmore. <laughs> remember that? And my, remember my hey, father, father, my father was <laughs> <laughs> next to his father. What happened? It's Tell me. Man. Come we on. Were, we were smoking a blunt in the back <laughs> of the truck. We were laying down. And he and his father were following us. And they, we came to a, a stop sign. <laughs> And Vin's like, holy shit, it smells like weed. Oh, like, no. Dad was like, you smell that? <laughs> you smell that? <laughs> great outdoors. Oh, I love it. Fucking shit. I love it like a set of tits. Oh, that's <laughs> great. His father loved 
He he loved, just he loved life. Loved everybody. He That's did. Right. Oh man. He yeah. did. He and everybody loved him. Everybody. So Sturgis lit up a room. Yeah. Sturgis. Shout though, out the to the riding father. was the best. Thing. If you really like to ride, mm -hmm. Daytona is the worst place to ride. <laughs> okay. It is. If you want to go there That's for Main flat, Street, old people are going to run a light and kill you. Yeah. If you want to really ride, there's no place like Sturgis. I mean, you can go to De Devil's Tower, <laughs> you go to Wyoming, mm -hmm. and you go through Spearfish Canyon and all them roads, and it's amazing. Wow. All hey, right. Remember that? Remember that cutoff road to Dirt Road? Glencoe Campground. <clears throat> Do you remember that? Yeah. We'd take that with the scooter every day. They started charging admission for I know, people to, to drive go through there because it was kind of a cutoff to get through Sturgis. Yeah. yeah. And it was a freak show. Remember the one time we went It'd down there? people naked and everything? Like, disgusting <laughs> people. Oh, people, how? People it was naked. Like, how was around. Yeah. yeah. We went down there the one time. Do you remember? We went off the road, and we parked in a trail, and we smoked. Huh? And the park ranger came down. Do you remember that? No. And he was trying to, like, interrogate us. <laughs> you got your boys. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weed wasn't that liberal then. Yeah. Weed yeah, was we not were. liberal, I was going to say. Yeah. This is back in the day yeah. when it's not it like was. what it like is today. You, you, know, oh, you yeah. get in trouble for doing that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. West, yeah, Midwest. Oh, yeah, you, you probably get slung so what, what, yeah, yeah, they'll beat you up. The boys know <laughs> what I smell in the air. What was the response? So what happened there? So he was like, uh, he gave no, you a pass really or what happened, yeah. Um, yeah. So when you guys are going to these events, I mean, obviously OCC is probably, you know, I, uh, you know at, at, at its at its height uh, to a certain degree. I mean... When you're walking into these events, is it just a mob scene? or um... It was. You know what was the biggest mob scene ever? It was, oh. it was Carlisle, PA. Oh. Do you remember that? My, uh, oh, could I my aunt and uncle. That's does the war college. I've gone to Carlisle so, so many times. So if you ever yeah. went to one of the Carlisle car shows, oh, yeah. which are probably one, arguably one of the biggest, biggest in the country. In the yep. country, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> and so. we mm -hmm. had, we said it wasn't a bike show. It was the car show, and they had, we had a booth there. Gotcha. Oh. And I'll tell you what, they brought, escorted us in in cop cars. Do you remember that? Really? It was like, it was a they mob They actually escorted scene. me out in one. Uh, <laughs> and so, yes, that's right what that was. This was back during escort. the drinking days or he something He didn't like participate that. in it that much, but there was okay. a local racetrack there with go-karts. Oh, okay. that's cool. Do you remember that? Yes. I don't know if you... And I remember then, you guys having a ton of fun. Like, you kept going out there. Oh, going out. The guy was like, you know, he was a fan, so he was just like, Ride all day. All day. Yeah. And so me and Cody, we were literally rode all, all day. day. <laughs> yeah, like they had soot. You yeah, know, like they look yeah, like coal like, miners yeah. at the end we of the day. Like you know, like goggle rings around yeah. our eyes. Yeah. I think that's awesome. So they got, yeah, but I'm going to say Carlisle. That was a great show, and it was just probably the most where we like we needed security. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember when we had to go do something that your father and your brother ditched out on a bike? giveaway drawing raffle thing on stage of a concert in daytona okay and the birds brought us in me yeah. you and cody and we had to get up on stage yeah <clears throat> and draw a raffle ticket to win something and this was like a rock concert <laughs> okay <laughs> but i'm not kidding you you're on stage you could have staged over thousands of people in front thousands. of thousands that uh -huh. was so cool we were uh -huh. running down slapping hands <laughs> that was i gotta say that was cool they had to escort us through there too you know what? I, I don't remember it, yeah. but I'm going to fill in a memory. <laughs> Banks there. There's a little fringe benefits. Well, you probably, awesome. I mean, that was, that was back awesome. Don't ask when me to you remember dates and names, but I can, <laughs> I can remember almost every show and the stuff we did. Give me really? the names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to have a talk. I only remember yeah. half of them. Mike, now, did you back some, There's some more stuff more. I would never say on this microphone. Uh, of course <laughs> hey, not. Mike, Mike, Mike you got to like, remember them. connected to Carlisle. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you remember? Uh, yeah. You freaking remember? Oh yeah, we, yeah. I started getting a little hot blood. <laughs> yeah. you, you thought I was gonna open my mouth on that one? <laughs> we asked, uh, we asked Vin what his top three were. But what are your top three that you, you know, your top three memories from the show, bike wise? Oh, uh, you know what else too? I'm sorry to interrupt no, you because no. I'm sure this <laughs> pertains to him too. But what? the scooter builds, scooter builds, absolutely going up to mass. Yep. Yeah, we we went built up them scooters. Sailing, that right? probably almost takes the cake for the top for me. I kind of spaced out on that one. Yeah, they. What do you mean by what that? What is it? They wouldn't let us buy the scooters. Yeah. No, we bought the scooters. So we went down to Queens. You remember that? He gave us a deal yeah. on them scooters. We paid for them, brought them in, started working on them for the show, and they're like, "They're not your scooters." What do you mean remember they're that? not? Yeah, they're like, "Nope, you do not own those scooters." And we're like, "We paid for them." They gave us a check for the money. Well, like, I don't want the check. I want the scooter. 
gave us a check for they would not let us own them scooters. You know they sold wow. them scooters for five hundred bucks. I know to like employees. Yeah, was employees. it what, was it because <laughs> what, was it because the name of the scooter? I mean, what was the thought process? There? I just don't. They didn't want you having anything to do with that show. Oh, gotcha. They didn't want you owning property of that show. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Which gotcha. I guess that, in listen, theory I, I could, could be, be used wrong. for promotion. You know, like the scooters, but the scooters sure. weren't out of the fifty bikes. Nobody was. Give shit about that. Yeah. Can you give us give us a give area. us a give us a few? Uh, well, wait, no. Mike, uh, what about <sighs> what about Mike's favorite? Oh, my favorite bikes. His favorite moments. Well, however you oh, want to take moments. that. However you want to take that. Uh, Mike's not a big bike guy. No. You got to like the Mikey bike. The favorite Mikey moment, bike. moments were really meeting famous people. Yeah. Right. Right. Will right. Smith. Uh, Smith. Nick Cage. Bill Murray. Nick Cage. Yeah, yeah met, and uh, Bill, Murray. Bill Murray. Baldwin, Bill Murray. I didn't get to meet Bill Murray. Oh. You didn't? No, we were in. You were gone? Did you or meet you him? Left. Yeah. No, that's right. Where was I? I was not there for it. You were getting married. No, uh, but we were in Australia, I thought. Oh. Wait a minute. So you were in the Australia show, because we talked about the, yeah, the, 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 the Russell Crowe episode yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. You and that. Uh, uh, and that yeah, me and uh, him spent a good amount of time in Australia. How long were cool. you there? Two weeks? Three weeks. weeks. You were there three weeks, I think, and I was there. You were there a week without me. Yeah. <clears throat> I flew in because I was working on a bike. I yeah. flew in, and then everybody else flew home except for me and you. We got to go see all of Australia. We did. Cooper Petey. Yeah. Oh, he's talked about it. Oh, I yeah. mean, you guys oh, had yeah, some yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you should definitely, you should definitely go in. Yeah, yeah. Ever. Cooper Petey. Yeah, yeah. In the I world think ever. that's awesome. Yeah. And the Australian people... We're probably our biggest fans ever. To this day, I still get. Remember, and the most charming. Uh, so charming. Right? So yeah. sweet, so charming. Do you the remember accent. what they used to say? Who, like, who? people say they liked me. They would say I was a legend. Yep. Remember? And, Vinny, and you're a legend. And, and a champion. <laughs> the champion. Yeah, you're a champion. I think that's awesome. Champion. champion. I was like, champion. You're, like, you're wow. a champion. I started Everybody's singing a... Queen. <laughs> so so in terms of overseas now you probably try, okay so with australia um were there other um areas you went to i mean what, i never went anywhere else with the show okay they All went, right. you went to south america right yeah brazil that was yeah and you went to england yeah we've yep. been he's he's definitely uh given us his uh inside and that and that was that was i mean that what he's been able to do is is phenomenal. It seems like the show gave a lot of opportunity to you know to be seen and to be heard, um, and I think that's awesome because I think you guys deserve it. I mean, you guys just provided so much entertainment for a lot of people yeah, for, for so sure. many years. For sure, oh, wonderful. And, you know, I think that that's great. Give us a couple of uh, OCC. I mean, give us some Mikey inside stories. Yeah, give where us, we got, uh, man. Tell me one. You know, I, I, know. I can tell you about the I basement. Mean, I got a whole memory bank of full of them <laughs> that I will not talk about. You got a, you got a TV me and Mike show. Will talk about give, that us, one. give us one or two that me you and Mike could, will talk about that in person. Give us yeah. one or two that you, uh, because I can definitely remember, and I don't mind saying this. Remember, I mean. Sea Grave and Orange. Sea Grave and like Orange. Like Sea Breeze, the code. The code we used back in the day. Right. Was it? It was It was actually it was a corner street where we used to stay every time we went to Daytona, remember? Yeah, we oh. stayed in a compound, a compound in the hood, too, yeah. right? It was, it was, it was like bad. Yeah, if you got yeah. out of there, yeah. You, you didn't leave there at night without, like, a, you know. What do you guys stay in the hood, though? I mean, for <laughs> what? Let me tell you what. That's what could be we, threw, we flew with the luggage when we yeah, were. Yeah, we had the ass. <laughs> we sat in the ass of the jet. And, and <laughs> until I worked with I Junior, complain. Mike Tuttle, well, one of you the know, primary my father, uh -huh. my father, not to villainize my father and brother, <laughs> no, do uh, it. But their their girlfriends always flew first class. Yeah. Wow. You know, okay. so that started breathing. Wait, 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 wait. He and I are crammed into the back. Seriously. <laughs> Someone give us an aisle seat. Did they know? fly yeah, coach yeah, here so, over next to that lady? Huh? So you guys are sitting in the ass back of the seat, and, and the girls are ass basically jet, man. They're sitting there uh, having some wines for a minute or two. Oh, yeah. Or, no, they're, yeah. Well, they're just sitting there like I just, I just remember at each one other now. thinking about That's who's luxury <laughs> compared to this one. Do you remember when we had to fly out to, I'm not going to say it, but. I was gonna say the armpit. <laughs> Remember when we went to West Virginia? Uh oh, oh yeah. In that little tiny plane, you were freaking out. You almost didn't want to go. When oh, I say yeah. that was them planes, you got to go step up on the wing to get in. It holds four people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and wow. we flew out to West Virginia in this. Right. Thing. That's the best I ever. I think that. your father and your brother flew out there in a private jet. 
I think so. Then those yeah, are, we were on like he a, flew a, out to this you place. Could tell firing on Listen, like one this cylinder. This place, I mean, these guys were great out there. Yeah. We we were hanging out with these guys. They're drinking moonshine, moonshine and Sam's Club. What? Yeah, right? right? They're, they're, yeah. No, not only and are they, they drinking they moonshine. Flying. Yeah, then they get like we'd get on dirt bikes or something. They'd get in their planes. No and way. Yeah, oh, red oh, bear in the whole day. Leather cap way. filled with moonshine. <laughs> Goggles. Oh, yeah, there was like running. a 600 pound guy. Yeah. Man, he like squeezed <laughs> into the red bear and cockpit. He's yeah. <laughs> like, Ooh, it was. It was a bike, man. Uh, Were you guys running drugs? Uh, well, that's great. Let me tell you what. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> that's good. He was, he was shit in his pants. <laughs> that was short lived, though. I had, did a little time. I had to roll on some people, actually, so I didn't. <laughs> Hey, you know, those one or two seat, I mean, the one or two prop planes, is, I mean, I, yeah. That's, yeah. Let me tell you what, he was shitting his pants. I was. You I'd were. shit my pants, too. Yeah, like, can't right be it was wheel. not a smooth yeah. ride, either. Right, right. Like, you're you're not above the clouds. You're going through these clouds, and every time you're going through them, it's like... What was a half a bottle of moonshine in your tank, probably? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, and he's just guy. thinking of Leonard Skinner the whole time. That's what I've yeah. learned. <laughs> Smith? Oh, no, what is it? No. I was just crashing. Yeah. In Carlisle, PA, that's that's the type of plane that I've flown. That's, that's I've incredible. That's incredible. Yeah, I don't mind going up so. for a ride in one, but we flew to West Virginia in yeah, one. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a for lot. For hours. It was yeah. like a four-hour flight. Hey, Vin, do you have any stories? Because Mike was a big advocate that you're going to remember a lot of stories that he won't. Do you have any non-embarrassing things that he probably won't remember? Or super embarrassing. What is, or embarrassing. Know. Yeah, super embarrassing. Yeah, we nothing need incriminating. <laughs> As, I mean, the nothing statute of limitations. Statute the one is, I, I, think, I think it was Carlisle with the military girl. Oh, yes. I'm oh. not going to go into detail with it. No. But I just remember waking him up the next day. We had to go to do autographs. And I'm magging on his door, and he comes out, and his freaking hair is like... Because that's mangled. when he wakes up. Yeah. And I look at the headboard was broken off the okay. wall. <laughs> yes. And you that, said something to me. And I don't know. God who bless her. Aesthetics. She was a drill sergeant. She was. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't touch each other. No. <laughs> no. Nope. I just remember something. I'm not going to repeat it. If he wants to, he can. Oh, no. Don't repeat it. No, I won't. But you, I think you know what you said when you walked out of that door. <laughs> No, all right. oh. we'll keep that to the match. But I, yeah, yeah. But that's that's enough of the story. That's, that's pretty good, though, Vin. You get, I, you get, like you, you definitely made me sweat there. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to get into it. I've it been with him. Uh, I've let been me tell you what he was. He did. If if it, if he wasn't there with me on the road, I don't think I would have made it. I would have stopped going on the road. Well, did home, man. Yeah, I gotta tell you, we you do, do, we, do it. Uh, yeah, we do, do Daytona. It alone. I don't know how they do it. No. It's got to be really lonely. We do Daytona. Or just for 14 days, we'd be in Daytona. And it was junior and senior on Main Street, and me, him, and Cody at um, Iron Horse Saloon. Mike, yep. he said that. Right you guys, next to the burnout pit. Yeah, right, right next right. to the burnout pit. My father was there. Remember, he freaking loved it. Okay. He was he loved my dad. It. My dad was a biker. He just okay. wanted to ride Harleys and go to all these places. God bless him. And he got to, and he loved it. And uh, I'll tell you what, that was rough. Yeah. It was, and I don't think I would have made it without you. Oh, thanks, man. I don't think I would have made it either. They were like burnout pit, like talking about every 30 seconds. No, when I tell you, tire we'd be, off, you know, right next to us, we'd be eight hours doing autographs. Yeah. And half the deal, I mean, you know, you're like, oh, big deal. You're sitting there. I would have about rather oh, been. I can't imagine. Shoveling yeah. shit. Yeah. Really? And it's One not, point it's or not another. because of the people. No. It's because you can only deal with so Good much attraction. of that. Yeah, yeah. Of the same questions at you and shaking hands. Oh, and yeah. Flash, and smiling. And, yeah, and, and smiling. And flash and, in the eyes. Yeah, and, it, and it's, yeah, and it's like, if you have to do that for a couple hours, that's great. But it was 14 days yeah. of six to eight hour days every day. I didn't realize. I, I didn't think you guys every had it that day. Yeah, mandated. That <laughs> really? Six to eight hours <laughs> every day. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. then I tell well, you, we got to know uh, people very did you have, well. Yeah. Have to we say, did, right? It was did like one day, a real, Mikey like could intense study in Mikey in, couldn't in deal. People. Yeah, you couldn't deal. Do you remember that time you couldn't deal anymore? You put a, a note on the thing that said, "I have laryngitis." Did you do that? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't want to talk anymore. Couldn't he was done. Anymore. He was <laughs> done. Then I'll tell you, two My years. My dad and brother were doing pretty good over at Main Street. If you want to go over there. They have posters for sale. We're sorry we're out. Two so. years of that exact same thing at Paul's shop, and we're almost out of time here for this episode. We do want to talk about what's in front of you right now. You want to you want to skip over to that right now? Yeah, we want to. We got two minutes. We got to know what's what's going on with what are we looking at here? No, absolutely, uh, Vinny. Please tell us what's going on. I know you. You know, obviously you have the uh, uh, your coffee. Yeah. Uh, well, so so first of all, I have my shop. Pick it up. Yep. 
I have my shop, which is D Martino Motorsports, but I also have another company with my cousin, um, D Martino Industries, mm -hmm. which I have my coffee here. Mm -hmm. D Max. D Max. Yep. So I'm I'm a coffee connoisseur. Love coffee. D Max coffee. Same so here. I said, if I'm gonna drink coffee every day, let me come up with my own coffee. Mm -hmm. So I got a hold of a company, and you kind of mix some stuff up and figure out what you like, and you know they package it for you and everything. And uh, so we do coffee, we do apparel stuff like that. That's very cool. It is. We were, we're starting to. We were going to do giveaways. What kind of apparel? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm, very Ill, I'm, I'm very ill-prepared because I should have been wearing my apparel, but I literally came <laughs> from my shop. <laughs> You'll be back. You'll be back. You'll be back. Make you well. you. This is more personal. Yeah. yeah. Make the money. Yeah. 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 But, um, you know, we do hats, shirts, stuff like that, stupid keychains, stupid things, stuff like that. But um, it's cool, and we like it, you know? Yeah. Um, we don't really, we don't have, I don't have a ton of time to do that stuff. So it's kind of, I'm not going to say on the back burner. Hey, you're busy. Yeah, 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 we're what, what busy time do you shot. go in? I go in at six and Jeez. I leave there at five. Why? My Lord, yeah, I'm so. going in there just to bullshit with him at different times of the day. Oh, some days and I can't. He just, can't. No, I texted I them. I texted you know, I just them. Kind of like talk to the kids who are working there. Yeah, no, we have a busy five, shop. But, uh, Four mechanics they, they and leave. a three bay shop, and people are coming in. You know, and I, you know, I got to deal with people and. You know, but this is more stop, this, 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 yeah. this is this is Raise I mean hands. sort of it's more of a passion project. It's yes, more hundred percent. You know, uh, I think that's awesome. Can we get an at? Can we get a social media link for yeah, yeah. so um you know I do a lot of coffee videos on my uh my TikTok. All right, what is okay. that? Um is it at D Martino Industries? We'll put it, yeah, we'll put it on the, uh, we'll put it on the last screen. <laughs> and our, okay. our Instagram's the same thing. We'll flash it like one of those yeah. winning buzzers on the screen from a I'm I'm really I don't really keep up. I should really have somebody to handle that stuff for me, but I don't. <laughs> well, that's so, you know, I'm not on it a lot, yeah, you know, because yeah. I'm, bu I'm busy. You should so, have a slogan for this stuff. Almost like a... What is it? D-Max Coffee. Grow your penis. To D-Max. Right? <laughs> to the max size. Yeah, you want to last longer. <laughs> Get harder. Like Get you stronger. Know, that is longer. the show in... D-Max uh, Coffee. D Max, that's a TV show in uh, in Germany where the uh, show's on. D Max. Yep. You know what I really like is the uh, flame with the honeycomb. Oh, you like that? Yeah. yeah. You know, Kenny did all that stuff for us. Really? Kenny Marshall. Who did the packaging? Yeah. Hot shit. Yeah. yeah. They do the packaging. You got to send them the artwork. Okay. Yeah. Kenny's good. Yeah. He did, he did all of our logo. I mean, we worked with him, but yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And we have our website. It's uh, you know, www.dmartinoindustries.com. Nice all right. Um. Yeah. So you know. Um. I love having my own. And you know what's great too? What is that's the eighty-seven, which is more like a coffee shop, donut gotcha. shop, the regular cup of Joe. Yep. And then I have the one ten, which is a stronger coffee, which I like. Bang bang. Yeah. So and my daughter is a real Vanessa in yeah. college. Mm -hmm. um, she's yeah. a coffee connoisseur. Well, she wakes up to the espresso. Uh, yeah, she <laughs> loves it. She's like, please bring me some more of your coffee every time I go up to her in college. So are these great. beans? The, the, these are created. Um, I mean, do you have them? Um, Made elsewhere and shipped to you? How, yeah, how they're, they're made right down in Westchester. Okay. Oh, wow. yep. all so right, it's, cool. all, it's all right from New York. So there was right. a certain blend you had to go there and you had to sort of taste Well, what they do, they send you up whatnot. sample packs and okay. you kind of pick what you want. Gotcha. And do all your stuff. Are these you... like single cups or double cups or how does that work? For what samples? do you mean? When you get a sample of coffee, how did you decide? No, it's they're, they're little miniature packets like this big. Yeah. All right, cool. And you can grind them and blend them if you want. And, all right. You know, and you let them know what you like, and then they package it for you and do it. Oh. Yeah, well, it's you know, great. How long did the process last? How many times did you reject their blend? Yeah. No, I just they sent me a bunch of them, and I just yeah. kind of figured out what I liked, and I'm like, this is what I want. Let's get the ball rolling. I didn't expect it to be that good because yeah. I was grinding them, uh -huh. and mm -hmm. I didn't really, you know, sometimes you grind it too little. It's not as good. You grind it too much. It's too. And it's weak. Yeah. It's chunky. Right. So There's not enough. Yeah. Coffee. So I didn't really know it, it was going to be as good as it was. And when we got it, I was like, this is amazing. Really? I yeah. Do. So it's not like I'm just pushing it because it's my brand. It's, yeah. it's, it's good. This is what you drink. Yeah. That's what I drink do, every day. Do we get, do we get to take these home? Oh, yeah, they're, they're yours, yeah. oh thank you. So like I said, I, I want to bring that next time I come. Yeah. If you'll have me again. Absolutely. Um, I'll bring the 110, which is, uh, you're going to like that one. Without a doubt. Yeah. So does we'll that make mean... it here while you're here. Does that mean put it in the percolator. Yeah, does that mean it's stronger, yeah, like or what it. does that mean? I'll bring the yeah. oil. It's more like a really rich Colombian, almost on the verge of an espresso. I was going to say that. Espresso yeah, seems to, because Mike and I, I mean, Mike and I travel to Germany a lot, so 
we, you know, we've done the Germany thing, oh, and um, yeah. the espresso is just, Oof. I mean, ugh. the coffee in Germany. In such yeah. a little, <laughs> such a little, just kicked your ass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely can love the espresso thing. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of the viewers um, were were asking in terms of you know who you're in contact with that kind of a thing. If we were to list them down down the line, I know you know Cody the most. Cody the Cody, most. 100%. Okay. Uh, Cody All Connolly. Right. Yep. Cody Connolly. Not only did I work with him after we left um, Orange County, we opened up a shop together. Oh, cool. Yeah. Before from custom. 07, yeah, till like 12, he worked with me. Okay. And then I kind of switched gears into cars. Uh -huh. um, but like me, we still, for a while, we were doing, I mean, you know how much I like to cook and eat. Oh, yeah. Mm. So we were doing. Ben, yeah. yeah. So that was a great cook, too. That's, ben, yeah. ben, Everything ben, I've never had a bad Ben, we'll do some, uh, yeah. we'll do some on that level. Ben's a good fucking point. cook, I'll tell you yeah. that. So for a while, we were doing like a theme night. Uh, once a month, I'd go over Cody's house. I'd bring all the food. And we'd have, you know, friends and family that's over. Cool. And we'd just cook. No, that's and, very like, cool. And like the first one was exotic meats. Where our buddy oh. Bob brought camel. Camel. Really? Turtle. Wow. Ooh. Um, wow, I really? brought duck and not the duck's exotic, but it's not I know, mean, as normal. Um, what else did we do? Is this an online purchase? What Just some get human meat? Meat? Like, how yeah, do you yeah, What do you get the meat? How do you I don't get, get that at, at the market. Yeah, how do you, you get know. turtle? How was the flavor? Oh, online, yeah. There's a whole oh, there's website okay. for that. I mean, you can get yeah. really exotic meat. Alligator, like, crocodile, all that. But, but go ahead. So you, so, so, so we would do that, and it was mm. great. The next night was like fish night where we did... I did made my own sushi bowls, and then we did oh. um, from Adams, which is amazing. Adams, Adams great, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're can, great. Can they have so sushi grade tuna. They have sushi grade tuna, yeah. and then I got the um, a big thing of sea bass and halibut. Okay, mm. and we did. I made them into little tiny chunks, you know, and I crisp them up good, and you know, mm. it was just, yeah, yeah it was just it was awesome. Okay, yeah, so, so we, we were doing that for a while. And all right. So yeah, I see I see Cody the most often. Yeah. Out of anybody, yeah, he's he's like uh, like he's like family. That's yeah. awesome. He's family to me. He's kind of like a nephew, younger brother to you. He is. He is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, ben used to give Cody a hard time because he was uh, being a little shit. Well, that's that, that little. I used that's to that big though, I'll tell you, you what. Like, that's hey, big you brother, know, little brother kind hey, of relationship. Least, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what. That kid made me cry one night because we were doing um, <laughs> doing our food thing. And he came up to me and he said that. He says, you know, you used to you used to be such a dick to me sometimes. He's like, <laughs> he's like, but he's like, it was the best thing you ever did. He's like, everything I have, I, you know, can say that you had involvement in it. Oh, that's very, very Yeah, cool. he's like, because you were, you know, he didn't really have a father figure, you yeah. know? Yeah, and he was still a really good Yeah, and he's 15 kid. years younger than me. Wow. 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 How old you is know, he? I think, I think that that What's is. That? How old was he compared to you, I guess? Oh, 15? back then? Yeah, I mean, he was 15 years younger. He was like 15, 16, wow. 17. You know, if he said everything he has is, is at least partly owed to you, tell him, give me 15%. <laughs> <laughs> you little shit. Cut me a fucking <laughs> check. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the exactly. parenting we're going through. <laughs> no. yeah, exactly. Well, Tony's the best. He's we're going to reverse that shit. <laughs> he's, got like a little, same time. he's got a little, like, miniature farm. Okay. And uh, he's got cows and stuff, and I'm always like, right. "Let's cook one of them up." He's like, "I can't cook one of them." He's like, "They're my pets." <laughs> oh yeah. No, once you name it, you're done. I, that, right? I know. Once you name it, is you're he done. using them for dairy at least? Yeah. Once you name it, you're wow. done. What about? Um, are you still? Um, I mean, from time to time, uh, uh, Junior. I mean, you guys still? I don't see him that much. I work on his vehicles when he's around. Okay. Um, but no, we never hang out on a on a basis where we're like, you know, going out to dinner or anything. Just communicating. You know, he's got young kids that. now. I'm yeah. kind of out of the young kid stage, yeah. that kind of Just thing. Just the one, sure. right? You know, he's busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I understand. I say. Yeah. yeah, Vin's busy drinking cocktails with my cousin Shawnee. <laughs> uh, you know, nothing wrong with, with I was, that. I was just with Shawnee this weekend. He's lush now. Oh, but he can I, handle I, it, I, right? I love him. Oh, he's the best. We've been man. hanging out a lot lately. He's the sweetest guy in the world. He is. If you think of, like, you know, one of one of the three sweetest people I've ever yeah. met. Yeah. He was, uh, we just camped but, up in Whiny Hills, and uh, we had, like, a little get-together with Joe Algarin and his wife and Shawnee and his wife, you know, and we just, we just cook and cook and cook and eat and no, hang stop. out. And you bring campers drink. or tents? Campers. I don't know. Well, you know what? No. I used to tent one before kids. <laughs> yeah. We, we, well, yeah, that, that is an end to that one. Yeah, we have at a, some point, yeah. We have a thing we may be doing at the waterfront. Um, Camping? Uh, jet set. <laughs> um, 
doing some kind of a, a cook-off, Mike and I. Oh, we could use it. So we'd like, we'd like to, 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 to maybe get you involved on that. Listen, And this is going to be in the, uh, in, in, yeah. in maybe. Uh, if you asked me to do time. that or go do something with bikes, I'd be like, you kick them bikes over. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you know, you know what? We all got You're, you're not going to all... have fun with those damn bikes. No. You're going to have fun with us. Yeah. I will have you know what? Fun. It's, you know, my dream, bikes are no my fun. My dream would okay. be, because I'm, I'm a big foodie. And I love to watch food shows. Mm -hmm. Same here. That's the only thing I watch. I love right, to right. watch. Man, watch, to, uh, to, Chopped, Devil's no, Kitchen. No. You oh. know who got me? Anthony Bourdain. Oh, yeah? He's, he, when yeah. he, when when he, he goes he, around, he used to go around yeah. everywhere. and No, the it. fact that that guy don't have the life. He had such a great life. You, you know, know, what? Was going you know what my dream is? When I, I, I like wish I could be like on um, Iron Chef. Mm -hmm. oh, One of the judges. Okay. Yeah, yeah. To see them guys cook I can see the that. way they do and right. taste that food. I'm sure yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Like just Jeffrey Zuccarian and all yeah, the yeah. guys. They're just, getting paid to do yeah. it. Ramsey. Ramsey's one of my favorites. Me so too. let me, I'm going to put you I'm on. telling you, he's inspired me more than anyone else. Yeah. See, I His like Ramsey, but he sometimes can come out oh, like a oh, he dick. Can. He, he can. can. Yeah, yeah. He can. Oh, like that's a like Simon Cowell thing. Dick. Right? Yeah. yeah. You know. He yeah. can, but he is good. Yeah. And when he's... Judging people. When he's on, he's on. <laughs> he, yeah. he is, oh, but, you know, people need that to get good. Well, that's true. That's you do. True. You, you know, you can't, you can't sugarcoat it. Can't have thin skin. You're right. So, you know? we got um, possibly um, mid-September. Mike and I were supposed to go down there. Um, Jet Set is a new uh, restaurant open up uh, uh, at the waterfront. We'd like to, uh, and we'd like to invite you and to be part of that. And we're going to be doing... Trying to figure out what we're cooking, and then people are going to be tasting the food. It's sort of a challenge. We're going to throw you into the mix because I'll be making a dish, he'll be making it, and then we all sort of get. Yeah. There'll be some Somebody objective. This is the most like exciting that, because because news I've heard. I, I'm, yes, I'll are you cool with that? With you. Hell yeah! I'll be honest. Hell with you. I was up to the challenge, but I, uh, I'm a shit cook. Oh, no, 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 cook. That's no. Awesome. Like you said, occasionally just bring me over stuff. He'd be like, oh, I just cook this he, up here. Take some. Just, he cooks a mean meatloaf to be honest exactly. with you that's and the you know, stuff where he shines yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I like high-end meats high-end fishes yeah stuff like that high yeah. end fish yeah yeah i like traditional yeah you like monday through you friday like some com you like comfort food <laughs> yeah you know what your meat leaf yeah yes yeah, your meatloaf yeah you know what i mean which your i like it too but i don't specialize in that i feel you but your meatloaf ingredient was what do you remember what you put in the meatloaf that i thought was sort of Pretty cool. He put oh checks, checks mix. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Graham crackers. Oh, checks it's it's checks nice mix. Texture. I like checks and, and, it, and it brought the texture to yeah. yeah. It yeah really it's got to be corn too, not the wheat. Wheat works really? too, but it gets a weird texture to it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I gotta say, I, I rarely. I probably made meatloaf once or twice when I'm like low carbon and I'll do something like that. You know. Really? So you are high. You're you're cooking the high end. I mean, you're. I do. You okay. know, I used to. Uh, you know, if I buy meat. I used to buy the cheaper cuts. Yep. Now I would rather have less with more quality. That's fair enough. I would. It I, shows up. We go to Newport, right? Rhode Island a lot. I don't know if you ever read oh, yeah. Newport. I have. Sure. Beautiful. Love it. Beautiful. Love it. To me, I used to one of them. the best places I've ever <laughs> ate in my life. I love New England food. Yeah. I love shellfish. I love oysters, all that stuff. The food mm -hmm. there is to Off me. To go to Maine. Yep. I do I've agree. been to Maine. Go to Maine. Go to, Maine. Go to like Kenny Bunk or, or Freeport. Yeah. Newport. Yeah, I went to Kenny Bunk Port, didn't yeah. we or no? No. I, oh. I never went to My that. family and I used to vacation. Oh, it was like the one place uh, in Maine. No, I didn't. Was I, another I've only been to Portland, Maine. Portland's and it's um, Old Orchard Beach. Yeah. yeah. Which I had the best lobster roll I ever had in Old Orchard Beach. Hey, you really? can't. I mean, lobster roll, if you do it right, I mean, cool. can't get we much camp better. There, we camped there in Maine. It's funny, we were out, I'm getting gas. At the gas station, you could buy freaking lobster. Really? Yeah. A yeah. lobster roll or like? No, just no, no, live lobster. No, live lobsters. lobster for sale. Oh, wonderful. Yep. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's just everywhere you go. And I, you know me, I'm a lobster nut. Yeah. I love really good fish. I love saltwater fish, <sighs> you know? I love swimming in freshwater. Love this guy. Saltwater fish. Love this guy because yeah, you know what? Fish. There's nothing that I love more than, 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 Seafood. Yeah, I love too. seafood. That's love what I get it. when I go out to eat. Yeah, I don't get steak. I could cook a mean steak, 
I don't go out and get steak. Yeah. I go out and get the best seafood I can get. Bam. Give me a seafood tower anytime uh, yeah. at, a, at, a, at a nice restaurant. All right. God. Uh, no. Any more comments? Any more questions? Last minute questions here. Um, I think to be quite, I mean, we Anything just want to thank. Plug? Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you anything. Plug? What's your? Uh, yeah. Do you have a Demartino Custom Collisions Motorsports and Automotive, or uh, do you have a website or a? I do at Demartino Motorsports dot com. Okay. okay. Demartino Industries. Okay. Yeah. I like poke my family. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Absolutely. We spent a lot of time cooking. My daughter Vanessa, who grew up on the show, mm -hmm. she was a pretty big part. Remember when you babysat her? Oh, that's yeah. a cute episode. She was the cutest. I know. She's kid. in college now. She's a junior that's in college. Crazy. She's still kind of time cute. flies. Cute she kid. Is. She's still got the same cheeks and yep. same smile, and she's so cute. Oh, that's yeah. like you. I don't she think won't you be guys like uh, if you have the DiMartino genetics, ever lose that like baby face mm -hmm. smile? Yeah, Van, I've always thought you have cute cheeks. Really. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> he does. Look at him. And I got my twins, <laughs> Ava and Bella. Bella yes. works with me. Yep. And uh, Ava, she works at a, a food place. But um, so, I mean, we're like, they still live home, you know, best friends. And I got Vince. How old's Vince now? Vince is 13. Oh, 13 is your youngest. Teenager, yeah. finally. For him. Yeah, he's a master. Yeah. Yeah, everything he does, he wants to perfect. That's good. I mean, yeah, it's like he's you. like, you got to see him on a unicycle. Oh, yeah. This kid's amazing. Get, get him a guitar. He was on a unit, one of them ones with the seats way up there. That's cool. Yeah, he did Montgomery five, Day. Yeah. Okay, Did he? unicycle's tough. Not only is it no, tough, it's it very is. you. I don't. There's a lot of energy. I couldn't even think about it's riding a, lot of a unicycle. It's a lot no of fucking way. Of he I'd be right there in my face. That's the whole, on the 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 whole course, parade. Right? The yeah. whole parade at Montgomery Day. He circled our float. How really? do you not just? How do you not fall on your I face know. on that damn thing? What's your uh, uh, What's your job I walk with the I walk with the firefighters now, but where are you? We did We did Heather's child care, which was my my wife used to work there. So every year I did a float with them. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Anything we can look forward to? Yeah, anything you have? Well, hopefully, I mean, I'll have some more stuff coming up. I, mm -hmm. I got to start hitting my YouTube some more. We'll talk. We'll get that going for sure. Can yeah. we uh, Can we look forward to having you on the show again? We loved having you today. It was I mean, this is Listen, awesome. Anytime you want me here, this is great. Wonderful. Anytime, anytime I can that is bullshit awesome. with you guys and see this guy. Uh, can I, uh, I know. Uh, I know. He uh, is the man. I got you. Mutual, baby. Uh, I got uh, you. I love this freaking guy. We'll save some, we'll save here. some more for hands. next time. Yeah, but yeah, go. I'd like to um I'd like to definitely do my, you know, my TikTok, my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube more. Now I do a lot of how to's on YouTube. Oh, just they, about, they yeah. get a lot of hits? Yeah, they do, actually. Yeah. yeah. One of my I did a tranny service on my daughter's Lexus, which is basically a Lexus Toyota. Same thing, tranny. So I get more hits on that. I get customers coming to me for that. You know how many of those videos <laughs> yeah. are, are like out of the gate? The people either don't know how to record something or they're really dumb. Oh, those are the worst. Right. You know what I mean? So if you know what you're doing, which you do, and you have a, your head around um, um, recording, you know, or, or production yeah. a little bit, yeah, you probably uh, take the lead on that stuff. Yeah. I think there's a lot more to come. And you know what? I, I'm just thrilled that we had the opportunity to have you here. Um, mm -hmm. On the Mike and Al podcast today, and um, gave us such an insight as to, you know, background and whatnot, and just can't wait to yeah to, to have you on again. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. it flowed. It's just you guys are just easy. It felt yeah, really awkward. Yeah, yeah, it was shut the fuck awkward. up. But it didn't feel awkward. I don't want him on again. All right, fuck. As per yeah. usual, you thank you for joining that, us you? here on the Mikey and Al <laughs> podcast. You can find us on any social media at Mikey N. <laughs> A L Al podcast. Once again, that's at Mikey N Al podcast. If you have any questions for Vin or Mikey or Al or for some reason me, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you. Also, uh, can we get a uh, applause for uh, having uh, Vinny DiMartino? Yes. <laughs> Vinny. Vinny. Awesome. Beautiful. Great, great, great. Great Goodbye. fucking job having Bye. you.